Squared, I am here. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. We're gonna go eat alive all of the grass type Pokemon inside this gym, cause mwah, 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 mwah. We have so much fire type. I should tell you about this gym. Only real ladies are allowed in here. Am I not a real lady? Are, don't you, oh. I'll punch you in your face. Stupid bells. Yeah, I see your bell sprout. You know what else I see? You know what else I see? I see this here. Ember attack! Burn, baby, burn! <coughs> Pardon me. I got a little overexcited there. No, I ain't changing Pokemon. Go, Kamaria. Destroy everything. Burn this gym to the ground. Haha, <laughs> you missed because you don't have compound eyes. Your eyes are just normal and googly. Woogly googly eyes! <laughs> well, that was a lot of experience points. Jesus! I'm on board with that. You're too rough! Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have called me something other than a real lady. Jerk wad. I'm gonna battle all the lady trainers in here. Oh, look, it's a beauty! Beauty Bridget! With her wee little oddish. Oh, it's so cute. It's not gonna like my embers, though. Oh, that's more defensive than I was expecting. I know the stun spores! I've been paralyzed! I don't like it! Okay, go ahead, reduce my evasiveness. I don't really care. I mean, my speed has been lowered substantially because of the paralysis, but whatevs. Whatevs, whatevs! Uh, no. And your bell sprout can't put me to sleep because I'm already paralyzed. Smart move that. Oh no, rap attack. <laughs> your critical hit did nine damage. Oh rap, you're such a foolish attack. Whoa. All right, Kamaria, let's quick attack this thing. Aw, oh, darn it. The one time I actually wanted the, the first move. You're squeezing me to death! The constriction! Oh no, you're dead. Nope. Just gonna keep right on fighting and blowing through this gym. Don't stop me now. Those lyrics? I don't know. I think so. Oh, paralysis! Paralysis! Oddish, Oddish is surprisingly more specially defensive than I expected, than I remembered. Oh, sorry, my nose itches. I get the feeling there might be some pet hair stuck to it. I don't know where that would have come from, she says to the dog sleeping on the bed next to her. One more. Ah! Oh, don't worry. You'll be alright, Kumaria. I'll heal you up as soon as this fight's over. I mean, what's it gonna- I mean, it should be using, I don't know, something not- but not wrap? Should have Vine Whip. There you go, level 24. How's that feel? Should feel pretty good. It should feel pretty good. My makeup! No! You've made a mess of everything, Paradigm! Just to say, I'm the best! I got 18 of them. Boop. Yay! 30 points! Alright, where's my- where's- Oh, it's right underneath Super Potion. 
I am very observant. <laughs> All right. Nope, 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 nope. We're done there. We're done there. Done, done, done. Um, let's go up here. Weren't you peeking in here earlier? Uh, no. Can you not tell the difference between me and the creepy old man in your window? Get some glasses, picnicker. Oh, you've got a Bulbasaur. He shall be worth much experience for my Maria. Ever attack! What? No, not Sleep Powder! F off, Bulbasaur. I don't want your friggin' Sleep Powder. Get it out of here. Wake back up, please. Oh, you got razor leaf. Which I'm apparently not worried about at all. <laughs> oh, it's about the same amount of- Oh, Ivysaur on the other hand. Oh. Oh. Let's let- let's let Ignatius- oh, Ignatius is already at level 29. Let's let Ignatius have this one. I mean, what am I gonna do after this gym battle? Am I gonna, am I gonna end up putting Ignatius back to keep Kumaria? And then what about our our Eevee friend that we just got? Because I I want. A Thunderstone so I can get a Jolteon. Because a, an electric type Pokemon will serve me well. Oh, we're gonna have to make some tough calls after this gym battle is over. There we go. I like how they're easy to raise. And they can become quite strong. I mean, Vinny's no Vinny's no slouch. Ember, so many embers. Oh, good, you missed. I was like, no, not again. I don't want to go through this whole fight again like that. That's bullarky. So much bullarky. But it's fine now. Everything's good. Tamia? That's a nice name. I like that. We'll hold on to that. Super effective! Aw oh man, now I'm poisoned. Why you gotta play me like that, Bellsprout? Why you gotta play me like that? Ow! Your stupid poison is probably gonna hurt me. Oh, what? No! Beep, 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 Good job. Antidote. Kamaria. There we go. All right. I'm already agonizing over this stupid decision that I'm going to have to make in a second about... Who's going in the box and who gets to stay with me? This is so hard. Because would would Paradigm really want to put her very first Pokemon back into the box? But at the same time, we love our Vulpix. She's pretty and perfect and we love her. So much fuss. This is going to be a tough decision. 
You guys better leave some comments so that I- What? You have a super potion? Get out of here, cool trainer Mary! You guys are gonna have to leave me some comments so that I have some idea of what I'm gonna do here. Because I really don't have a clue. Because, I mean, who am I gonna put back to take the Eevee out? I mean, I don't want to put Vinny or Ponyo back. Is that the one that only lets them use the moves that I have? Oh, that is also known by me. Then I don't care. Oh, no, I don't need to switch Pokemon. I don't need to switch Pokemon for your Oddish. Oh, it's just such it's such a hard decision. I'm gonna die. I'm never, ever, ever gonna be okay. It's not okay. So I won't put Ponyo back. And I don't want to put Vinny back. I don't want to put Ali back either, though. And Ali is so, well, because Ali makes a lot of things a lot easier. You can pop out, put something to sleep, and it goes really well for me. It's been, it's been treating me very well. I don't want to... Gosh. I don't want to put... I suppose I, I could put Terabyte back. But the, the dig is nice. He's a real good, strong physical attacker. Ugh, I'm so fussy. So fussy! Everything is fussy. I feel like my hedgehog. She is comprised of approximately 80% fuss. Oh, this is so exciting. You're making so much progress in this gym. <laughs> oh my gosh, so completely random, but I'm really excited about it. I got the most awesome collars for my kitties today. I was in uh, I was in Petco today to pick up food for all of the the zoo that I own. <laughs> for some reason, every every once in a while, they all run out of food at the exact same time, and then I end up going bankrupt just trying to restock on everything. So I insist that they all eat very well. But while I was picking up the kitty food, I saw Star Wars collars. Now, some of you may not know why this is so important to me. I mean, not just because my dog's name is Antilles, named for Wedge Antilles, the greatest fighter pilot of all time. Although, you know, I say that, but now there's Poe, and I really, really love Poe. He's a very good fighter pilot, but I named Antilles like seven years ago, way before Poe's time. So, oh, come on, Kumaria. Well, let's give you some, let's give you a heal because I'm a little bit, oh, but you super repel. It does nothing here. Where are the F? There they are. I really should sort these things. <laughs> Anyways, I love Star Wars, but for as long as I can remember, I have been referring to my oldest cat, Shango, as approximately between 40 and 80% Sith Lord. He's, he's a Sith. He really is. He really, really is. It's just the way it goes. He he knocks things down when he's hungry. He's very manipulative. It's he's just he's always been my Sith kitty. And while I was at Petco today, I saw 
Star Wars collars, and one of them is red and has Darth Vader on it and says, join the dark side. And I was just blown away. I had to have it. It was mine. And with them, they also had green collars with a little Yoda head on it that say Jedi Master. And so I got that one for my kidder's Loki. So now I have a Sith Lord and a Jedi, and it's, it's so precious and perfect, and I was super pleased about the entire thing. All right, let's paralyze heal. Kumaria, because she doesn't need this Balarki. Oh, we are coming up on the end of the episode here. Ah, you know what? Let's make this a long episode. We'll fight everybody but Erica. I'll make you guys wait for the next episode for Erica. But seriously, I am going to need your guys' comments down in the comment section because I honestly do not know how I'm going to handle team composition after this gym fight. It's really, really important to me that I maintain some sort of decent team composition, but at the same time, I want to be able to keep using Pokemon that I really, really like. And that happens to include the, my Vulpix. I love Vulpix. She's so cute, so sweet, so wonderful. But, you know, we, we just picked up Vulpix and we got that Eevee. And I really want to include the Eevee on the team because I want a Jolteon very badly. An Electric-type Pokemon will be very, very good for me. And... We're, I'm working on getting enough coins to buy a Dratini. That's the other thing that I need you guys to keep commenting on is whether or not it's okay for me to have the Dratini because of the Eevee. But it's not something that I'd ever considered when I was writing up the Nuzlocke rules, which I've been linking again here in the descriptions so that you guys can see the rules that I'm playing by in my Nuzlocke runs. Um, because they are they are a little bit different than the standard the standard Nuzlocke run rules, but they work for me, and I've been enjoying using them thus far. But really, I mean, Dratini, Jolteon, Nine Tails. And that's three of our Pokemon already. I mean, do I keep Butterfree, Gyarados, and then who takes the last slot? Who do I put back? Who do I keep? I mean, Vinny has served me so well so far in the game. Terabyte has saved our butts several times. Oh, I do have to change Pokemon now. And Ignatius was my starter. So leave a comment for me. Tell me if you think that it's okay for me to uh, keep working on gambling our way toward a Dratini and what you think my team comp should be moving forward. I just, I need some help. I need some opinions. Because otherwise I'm never, ever, ever going to get this figured out and I'm going to stall out because I'm going to be so upset about the decisions I have to make. All right, one more Ember, and we should be finished with all of Erica's minor trainers. That being said, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Like the video if you have enjoyed the content you've seen so far. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode where we will take down Miss Erica. And as always, do remember that these are games, so try to have a little bit of fun.